and welcome to solve this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed so we write this into the simplified form so it means that we need to show all of the working on your on this paper so here the very first step we are going to do is first we need to focus on the exponent of the first term so the exponent of this term is 9 and we write it as 8 to the power of 8 plus 1 we know that 8 plus 1 becomes 9 minus this is 8 to the power of 8 and after that here we need this exponent law if you have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this exponent law we break this exponent and it will be written as 8 to the power of 8 multiplied by a to the power of 1 minus this is 8 to the power of 8 and now further you see here we have a to the power of 8 be the common term so we take common 8 to the power of 8 and the remaining terms are 8 minus 1 so here we need more simplifications and we write it as uh, this is 8 minus uh, 1 becomes here 7 we write it as 8 to the power of 8 multiplied by 7 and now further we need to focus on the base of this term so you see here the base is 8 and we write this into the prime factors form so the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its whole exponent is 8 and it is multiplied by 7 so here we use another exponent law if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so according to this rule we need to multiply these two exponents so you see here 2 to the power of 3 times of 8 becomes 24 and it is multiplied by 7 here okay so further we need more simplifications and now here we need to focus on the exponent of this term so you have this is 24 we write it as 2 to the power of 12 times of 2 and it is multiplied by 7 here we use this exponent law if we have a to the power of m cross n we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n okay so according to this exponent law we can write this term as in this form uh, this will be written as 2 to the power of 12 and its whole square and it is multiplied by 7 okay so uh, here our next claim is to find the value of uh, 2 to the power of 12 because calculator is not allowed and here we need all of the working on this page so i can uh, i can give you a nice trick in which you can easily get the value of 2 to the power of 12 so here first we write it as if you have 2 to the power of 1 uh, it is equals to 1 if you have 2 to the power of 2 equals to 4 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 it means that if you focus on the right hand side and you get the next number which uh, previous number is multiplied by 2 it means that you have 2 times of 2 is 4 4 times of 2 is 8 8 times of 2 becomes 16 Similarly, 2 to the power of 5 is 16 times of 2 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 32 times of 2 becomes 64. And similarly, you can uh, carry on this process until 2 to the power of 12. And you get the output of 2 to the power of 12 equals to 4096. So this is the desired number which we need in uh, for further processing of this question. So now here uh, we just uh, replace this 2 to the power of 12 equals to 4096 and it will be written as 4096 and its whole square and it is multiplied by 7 okay so further uh, we need more simplifications and now we need uh, here this is 4096 and we write it as 4000 and plus 96 whole square and it is multiplied by 7 and now in the next step you see here uh, we need the uh, an uh, algebraic formula you know that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus b square plus two times of a b 
so according to this you see here our a is this 4000 and our b is 96 so we need to put these two values in this equation and it will be written as uh, uh, here you have first a square so our a is 4000 square plus b square so our b is uh, 96 square and plus 2 times of a b so again our a is 4000 and b is 96 so now you see here uh, the 4000 square uh, in order to find this scale you just take the scale of 4 it is 16 and you double these zeros it will becomes these are three zeros it will become six zeros uh, and now plus 96 square so here you can uh, you already know about the traditional method of multiplication which you can learn about in your primary classes uh, so that you just multiply this 96 by 96 and you get its output is 9216 and similarly here you need to multiply 4000 by 96 uh, and it is uh, multiplied by 2 so first you can multiply 2 times of 4000 it is written as uh, 8000 and it is multiplied by 96 uh, and after that this will be multiplied by 7 okay you see here this 7 is carry on as as it is so here uh, in the next step we need to sum up all these values so in order to add uh, these values first we need to multiply this 8000 by 96 and it will be written as 1 6 and six zeros plus nine two one six plus here we multiply eight thousand by ninety six and you will obtain here seven six eight and triple zero and it is multiplied by seven okay so here uh, we need to sum up these all of these values by using the traditional method of addition and you see here uh this method is stated as one six and these are six zeros after that you have these are three zeros eight six and seven at the last we have six one two nine okay we add these values so when you add these values it will becomes this is six one two nine plus eight seventeen we write seven carry one six plus one is seven and seven and six and one okay so we will obtain here uh, one six triple seven to one six and now here we need to multiply this term by seven we can just do this step here uh, in order to find the final answer so here you can multiply this whole number by seven and uh, you will just finally get here one one seven double four zero five one two okay so so finally we have the uh, output of the given algebraic expression is a to the power of nine minus a to the power of eight equals to double one seven four zero five one two this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos